The SkyKid.com Short Film Review. The Armoire, 2009. Some movies are filled with messages that both protagonists and viewers are expected to decode. Decoding these messages to grasp their meanings can be challenging, and the results can vary. The plot of the 2009 short film The Armoire has a lot of hidden messages and enigmas. The protagonists of The Armoire are two young boys, Aaron and Tony. They are classmates, best friends and both are members of their school's choir. One day, Tony mysteriously disappears. While everyone is desperately trying to find the lost boy, Aaron slowly realizes that the key to the mystery is buried in his own mind. Worried about their troubled son, Aaron's parents put him under hypnosis, and the story of Tony's dissonance starts to unfold. Some scenes from the film reminded me of Stephen King's It and the 2004 drama Secret Window starring Johnny Depp. The film's soundtrack, a mixture of chilling sounds one can expect to hear in horror flicks, beautiful piano music, and a stunning treble performance by the two young protagonists, enhanced that impression. Skillfully edited scenes, reverse action shots, full-frame shots of the young actors' faces and creative lightning were combined with objects that have a symbolic meaning in the film, the armoire itself, for example, to create a unique atmosphere. Some things that are not immediately clear are revealed through conversations, but just when you think you've solved a riddle, another one is sure to appear. The film pays tribute to the coming-of-age period all go through when discovering one's sexuality. It's a time of life that is almost always associated with confusion and distress. William Cuddy did an excellent job portraying the troubled Aaron, whose ego seemed to shrink itself into a protective shell, a sense further emphasized in the scenes in which he closes himself in the framed box of the armoire. The armoire is a surrealistic film, it's both mystery and drama, and while I found the story both challenging and intriguing at the same time, I would urge you to see it and draw your own conclusions. You can find the complete short film in the full written review at theskykid.com.